to His Excellency Sagala Ratnayake, Minister of Law and Order and Southern Development of Sri Lanka. Mr. President, Excellencies, at the outset I would like to thank you for convening this special session dedicated to one of the most relevant contemporary issues, the world drug problem. My warmest greetings to you, Mr. President, and the Bureau, as well as to all delegates gathered here with the courageous commitment to fight the drug menace to eradicate it from our society. Mr. President, the government of the Democratic Socialist Republic of Sri Lanka is conscious of the illicit production, trafficking, and abuse of drugs in the country. Adverse effects of drug use on health of drug dependence, the upsurge in drug-related crime, the draining of human, natural, and financial resources, and the destruction of individuals, families, and communities due to drug use. Further, the government is fully conscious of its international obligations, particularly those stemming from the single convention on narcotics drugs of 1961, the convention on psychotropic substances of 1971, and the UN Convention Against Illicit Trafficking in Narcotic Drugs and Psychotropic Substances of 1988, all ratified by our government. Sri Lanka also steered the negotiations on the SARC Regional Convention on Narcotic Drugs and Psychotropic Drugs and Substances and is a party to the SARC Convention. The government reaffir reaffirms its political will and determination to tackle the drug problem locally and assist in this cause internationally by reviewing the existing national policy which was formulated more than a decade ago. All institutions that come under government purview will be required to adhere to this national policy. The concerned non-governmental agencies are expected to be active partners in the implementation of the government policy. Fulfillment of the social responsibilities of private sector institu institutions within the framework of this policy is also critical in drug prevention and control. The overall goal of the government in, rela in relation to the drug problem is an ambitious one, to reduce the drug supply and drug use to minimum levels by 2020. This goal will be pursued relentlessly by all drug law enforcement agencies the government agencies directly involved in drug demand reduction, including provincial and local administrations and other agencies, which have a potential for contributing to the end objective along with NGOs and private sector agencies. The government will adopt a broader approach to drug abuse control within the context of human development, focusing particularly on the links between drug abuse, poverty reduction, crime prevention, and improving health. The government believes that the most effective approach to the drug problem would comprise of comprehensive, balanced, and coordinated strategy. In such a strategy, supply control and demand reduction will reinforce each other. A high sense of shared responsibility will be the norm. Government institutions, NGOs, private sector, and other agencies will be involved in implementing drug control strategies which comprise effective enforcement of law against production, smuggling, trafficking, sale and use of illicit drugs, effective enforcement of controlled imports, exports, distribution of drugs, and precursor chemicals under control, preventing the use of drugs and reducing the adverse consequences of drug, use, drug abuse, and supporting regional and international initiatives related to drug abuse prevention and control. Mr. President, the Precursor control, control Authority of Sri Lanka controls 23 identified precursor chemicals, which make an immense contribution to the economic development. It prevents illegitimate production of psychotropic substances from these chemicals. Precursor Control Authority monitors the import, transport, distribution, storage, and use of precursor chemical, chemicals and supervises the premises which su such activities are performed. In addition, our concern has extended to reducing abuse of prescribed drugs or over-the-counter medication. This has been identified as an emerging issue. The Sri Lankan government's determination in law enforcement is highlighted 
recently by the detection of 110 kilograms of hero heroin trafficked by sea where nationals from several countries were involved. Mr. President, the government of Sri Lanka has taken initial steps to establish a center for sharing intelligence on drug, traffic on drug trafficking to empower national institutions for accurate information dissemination in the South Asian and Southeast Asian regions. Further, the government provides treatment and rehabilitation services to those who abuse drugs using accepted screening and assessment methodologies implemented by the government, non-governmental and private institutions in the country. We have adopted the requisite legislation on treatment of drug offen offenders, which in Italia empowers our judicial authorities to prescribe treatment to offenders in state or recognized private institutions in lieu of punishment. The government works towards its determination of reducing and total elimination of substances with the effective analysis of social and scientific researchers on narcotics and psychotropic substances based on evidence-based practices. Outreach services, aftercare, and rehabilitation services necessarily effective for all treatment interventions are provided throughout the country, especially focusing on clients who are away from residential treatment programs. Sri Lanka highlights the need of using medical and psychological treatment, ensuring the welfare of specially identified social groups, such as children, women, and youth, who are affected by the negative consequences of substance abuse. In conclusion, Mr. President, I wish to assure you that Sri Lanka stands committed to extend our fullest cooperation to all international efforts to combat the world drug problem, a problem which has no borders, which threatens to destabilize all our societies. Thank you. <clears throat>